Hello, this is Chirag again and in this video let's see what is this new feature in SharePoint called minimal download strategy and why I suggest to disable it by default. So the minimal download strategy feature, uh, what is it? Microsoft says minimal download strategy is a new technology in SharePoint 2013 that reduces the amount of data that the browser has to download when users navigate from one page to another in SharePoint site according to my MSDN. And by default, this feature is enabled. Now, Microsoft claims the performance uh, boost using by using this feature. So let's see what is going on. So this is our uh, site. Uh, right now, I have disabled this feature and you can see the address bar here. It gives me, it says that I have right now home page open. That is then the page decided in a site pages library. Um, so I'm navigating through different sections in my SharePoint site. And you can see that the performance is pretty good. So when I go to site settings and enable this feature, actually I need to enable at this level. So when I go to site setting and you can see here that is a feature. So which is deactivated by me just a while ago and I'm activating this feature now. So once I activate and I go to here, now you can see the address bar here. So you can see here, it's actually loading the page called start.aspx, right? So this is the page actually, that actually is an interim page that loads all of your SharePoint site pages that you are traversing, right? So let's see what happens. So when I click this document library, and you can see that, let me bring the notepad, so I can show what's the difference. So here you have this URL and you can see that the start.aspx start page is loading your all of all the documents from shared documents library, right? But did you notice any performance change? Uh, it is actually hard, it is very hard to tell that using this feature, it actually boosted the performance of your SharePoint page or uh, a particular site. Uh, so there may be some cases in the rare cases where it actually does impact on your performance, but not uh, most of the time. So uh, just because of that, I wouldn't recommend to enable this feature. Uh, and there is a impact in terms of this address bar change here also. So let's say the impact is, let's say you want to um, track your sites analytics and through using Google Analytics feature, right? Um, so when you do, when you use this feature, Google Analytics will track this address instead of instead of this address. So if you want to create a report, Every single time Google, Google Analytics will say that the user has uh, actually, you know, viewed start.aspx instead of this page, the actual page. So that's actually uh, another thing I would recommend. And many, si many production uh, sites actually use analytics tools that rely on the address of your page. So this is one, one actually uh, downside of using this feature. Um, there are also kind of like, um, and another thing is that in certain cases, you may want to actually uh, rely on the current address of your site rather than this interim page. Um, so I would highly recommend to disable by going into site settings and its site features and uh, deactivate it. Now, another problem with this feature is Whenever you create a new team site or any other type of site, this feature is by default enabled. So you have to go through this, this exercise again and again. Uh, you can see that here in team site, uh, the, the feature is still there. Um, so I have to actually go through this, just a little bit annoying that you have to uh, keep in mind that you to disable this feature every single time you create a new site. That's it for this video. Thanks for listening. Bye.